It's the start of summer here in England and it's not just the flowers, fruits and vegetables growing out in the garden. Like many others, we have a puppy in training. There will be highs, lows and many obstacles to overcome. So please come along for the ride as we turn a pup into a predator. Many people often ask me, where do you start when training a pup? For me, it's not rocket science. Start at the beginning. Lay down good foundations. Build a loving, long-lasting relationship with your dog. It's going to last for a decade. The puppy is now eight weeks and has just had a first injection, so he's bound to the garden for the next four weeks. Use the time wisely, not as some people do, and lock the dog in the kennel or the crate and forget about it until it can be lead walked. Spend time out in the garden or even in the house building a loving, strong relationship with the dog. A dog will not do what you want it to do unless it enjoys being in your company. Just spend time together, playing, fussing and building a bond. Without this bond, there'll be no recall, no retrieve, no jump, no anything. To some people this may sound like just some hippie nonsense, but trust me, all great running dogs are also loved pets. The stronger the bond between you and the animal, the more responsive it will be. By building this strong bond before jumping into training, you give yourself a better chance of early success. The dog wants to recall to you, because it thinks you want to play. And with a good recall comes a naturally good retrieve. Over the next 12 months, we're going to be recording the highs and lows of training our pup porridge. So I hope you stick along for the ride. Many people buy a whippet or running dog and don't understand the effort that goes into making it. Not just a good worker, but an obedient dog. So please come back and view part number two when it's uploaded as we look at the early retrieve. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding working with pits, visit our website nightuntowithpits.webs.com or follow us on Twitter at Working With Pits.